features 14 hours ago by Polly Glass time for some new music ingesting and brutal judging with classic rock tracks of the week. But before flex your Simon Cowell-esque muscles let's have a look at last week's top 3-3. Three, three. Trucker, Diablo, let's just ride 2. Scam, take it or leave it 1. Alice the Lovers, Boneyard so which tune will sway your vote this week we've got a delightful selection to tempt you with, so have a listen then vote for your favorite at the foot of this page. Vote wisely. Vote good, yeah, but not before you've listened to last week's winners Alice the Lovers. The British four-piece continue to carry the Queen-infused torch for proper, unashamedly joyous rock and roll with this new, sing-along-ready addition to their arsenal of good stuff. If you're in a crap mood, this should lift your spirits. If you're already feeling pretty chipper, take it up a notch with these guys. Opening with a pleasingly odd video of the band advocating some sort of fictional self-improvement cult well, we assume it's fictional, Demons itself has a nicely creepy chill combined with hooky, fuzzy rock stabs, plus commanding lead guitar chops and ominous undertones. Accelerated by the Raleigh soulful, star quality of singer Alicia Quinones, Brooklyn rock and rollers Love Honey have an awful lot going for them. We sense there's more to come from them in terms of songwriting, but based on the ingredients they already have we reckon it'll be good. Just remember to type Love Honey Band when you Google them, otherwise you'll just get ads and toys from the sexual happiness people cute fluffy bunnies take a ride on a gun-toting dude's car bonnet, in this new video from Brighton's Darlings of Modern Hard Rock and continuing pioneers of the bastastic twosome formula. Musically it's more of what they've always done, intensely fuzzy, blues-rooted grooviness, but boosted by three years' experience in rock's fast lane, 70 styled bluesy rock riffing is the order of the day with this Swedish gang bet you didnt guess they were Swedish from that name though. But before you see no come on not another retro rock lot from Scandinavia, get a load of the charismatic ballsy vocals and matching classic sounding guitar flourishes, see, it's pretty damn good I sent it on to relax. Or at least that's we did upon hearing this warming, gently bittersweet piece of first-class songwriting from Thomas Walsh and Jason Faulkner. Beautifully textured, effortless stuff from a duo with enough experience to know precisely what they're doing, without the hype to cause any ego issues. Colette Williams and Shauna Tohill were session musicians for years before joining forces to make sweet, fuzzed-up rock noise as ruse. Based on this latest dose of sugar and heavy spice from upcoming album Pyro which comes out on the 3rd of November Wednesday say this experience has served them well. The southernest men in Norfolk take on the Ike Tina Turner tune with the slick, soulful Molly Marriott yes we mean Steve Marriott's daughter on guest vocals. True they might not capture the history and life experience of Ike and Tina, but still prove that youthful enthusiasm and talent can shake the dust off faithful stalwarts like this, especially when they hit the vocal harmonies of the chorus.